Welcome back to Michigan Business Speak, brought to you on the Michigan Business Network. Chris Holman, coming to you today from our uh, headquarters, our studio at the Capital Region International Airport. And uh, we're going to move over to Lansing right now. Jim Davis is the marketing director at DBI. And uh, Jim, it's good to have you on. You know, you and I both know that your client base changes like our client base changes about 7% per annum. So a lot of things change on a normal calendar, but then you throw a pandemic in there. And I'm wondering how, how has marketing for you at DBI changed or, or has it stayed the same post pandemic? Um, no, it really has changed um, just because the nature of our business, you know, uh, half our business is commercial interiors, um, working with you know some of the largest corporations, the municipalities, the state of Michigan, Michigan State University, the pandemic has changed the way we office, right? And you talked to some of our designers and Becky from Hayworth a while ago and talked about some of those changes. So you know the way we kind of focus on the messages that we're we're sending are are, are changing, right? And I always say, that marketing hasn't changed in like 50 years, right? A good photo, a good image, a good tagline. Um, those are all, you know, what you need. <clears throat> What's changed is the the method that we deliver it, right? And, and you're, you're, you're part of our marketing um, mix, right? You and your network, right? Networking is still like super key for us. Right. We when we're selling commercial interiors, you know, we it's it's nice to meet the the decision makers. You know, it's interesting because you alluded to this. And by the way, we're really happy being part of your marketing plan because uh, you're a great company. And when you look at our customer base, we do something similar to you. We affiliate with good companies. And so we're kind of choosy about who we have as partners on this whole thing. But you alluded to to tools. Let's talk about those because those maybe have changed a little bit. Absolutely. Um, you know, for us, you know, social media, th that has such a broad, you know, scope, right? I mean, people can kind of get lost in it. But here's the things I love about social media. Number one, for most intensive purposes, it's free, right? It doesn't cost you, you know, it costs you your time and efforts to, to create a Facebook post, um, but the tools themselves are like LinkedIn, right? If our people, if you're not on LinkedIn as, you know, any type of business person, right. Um, selling or even like nonprofits, cause we do tons with our local nonprofit, you know, you know, partners, right. We like to support the community and, you know, part of my marketing mix is golf outings, right? It's a great way to be out there with your clients. The other big one is golf outings are the largest fundraising tool for almost any nonprofit, right? Every nonprofit you work with has a golf outing. You know, both of our owners are, are golfers. So for us, it's, you know, it's a, a part of our marketing mix. So one of the things I do is I help you know, make sure we've got the right teams there. I always ask them, just send me one photo, guys. That's all I need is one photo, you know, because everybody takes a photo when you're golfing, right? So then I can post it, you know, help help the the, the client, help the, you know, the, the nonprofit. And it's also, you know, showing us, you know, that we're part of, of that community. So that's part of our mix, right? And then those will go out on Instagram. They will go out on, to, you know, Facebook then I encourage our team to like, subscribe, because you know all those little, you know, tricks of the trade, right? It's exponential, right? They're on multiple platforms as well. So so with that, and not noting what a big part social networking is, what are the platforms that you prioritize with? What are the ones, and you've talked about them a little bit. Yeah, so Facebook is, is right on top. Um, and they're all, and we do them for, you know, different things, right? Facebook sometimes is, you know, our branding, um, thanking clients. Um, Instagram is another one. You know, we've got a talented group of designers 
and they help me uh, like immensely with with creative things that we can post up on Instagram and then LinkedIn, right? LinkedIn is great to you know to touch base with our our corporate you know partners and you know clients, um, and then also you know I encourage it with our team is for like research. Right? If you want to know what's going on. And you want to research a company and you see who they are. And if you're targeting them, it's it's huge. And then we do, you know, live events are back, right? As you know, right? Your luncheons are really well attended. You know, the Michigan Economic Lunches are an amazing local, you know, program. Um, so we do, we now we're doing a lot of, of live events, right? Co-hosting uh, open houses, um, we just did a, a, an event down in Jackson at Jaxpo. We work with SBAM. So live is, you know, people want, are after the pandemic want to get out. No, you're absolutely right. And interconnect. You also did a great uh, piece of uh, how design works for productivity with uh, Farm Bureau. And I, I attended yeah. and that was really great. Um, Jim Davis, uh, marketing director for DBI. Thanks for uh, sharing your knowledge and, and spending a little time with us, bud. All right. Thank you, Chris. It's a pleasure. All right. You've been watching all this on the Michigan Business Network. This is the Michigan Business Beat, and I am still Chris Hunter.